Stacey and Jay Spoo, East Coast Radio. So the holiday season officially upon us, and it's, you know, ho, 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 and mistletoe, but that isn't necessarily the case for absolutely everybody. Yep. So with this time of the year, there can be an inkling of sadness or anxiety that is felt by not just you. So if you are experiencing that, it, it's more widespread than you'd imagine. Why does this time of year feel so hard for so many people? So not only is there the obvious financial pressures that go with this time of year, but very often if you've lost anyone through the year, like a loved one or a family member or whatever, this is kind of like that time of year when it becomes most dominant or predominant. You know, it's all, it's all about family and being together and community and, and being united. And for a lot of people who are alone, this kind of emphasizes their aloneness. So it's it's a difficult time of year emotionally for, for a lot of people. And now with the festive season uh, approaching, family gatherings are going to be a thing. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. we all we know how stressful, we all know about the tension when you see that auntie that you did not, you know, solve the drama with there's a lot of conflict where there's family gatherings what advice do you have for managing difficult relationships during the holiday season remember it's just one day of the year unless they're coming to stay with you then that's a completely different thing <laughs> boundaries. <laughs> Huge boundaries I think I think what's important here is to just not let it get under your skin and to try and deflect away from engaging in anything that might be conflictual or cause problems Problems for everyone around you and I know that's not necessarily easy but as I often say to people who come and see me just imagine that they're like the weather we might not like what it's doing but there's nothing we can do mm, about it yeah. so that's powerful just got to roll with it and 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 just get through the day and if all else fails take an umbrella okay now now we need to talk about the money stuff because obviously we like to believe that we're living in la la land we see the TV ads and the online stuff and everyone is having the biggest Christmas ever but there is the psychological and commercial pressure to spend on gifts and that's across the board. So that in and of itself is an overwhelming idea when you start thinking about the rands and cents of it, never mind the gammon and the roast potatoes. So how can people protect their mental health while dealing with the financial implications of the festive season? Well, I think we need to put it into perspective here because all of this this consumerism and, and the drive for it is still stuck in that era where we all got a 13th check in yeah. December. That doesn't exist anymore. Anymore. Word up. And something that you've got to seriously think about is, yes, if you go big over Christmas, you might be paying this off for most of next year. And do you really want to have that burden on your shoulder? Taking into consideration, we don't know what next year is going to look like. Mm. Um, so, you know, th- this idea that we've we've got to buy everything that's on the Christmas list, we need to move away from that. And if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. Rather, I think, look for gifts that are meaningful full and very very personal go to flea markets support local markets and whatever that have Christmas stuff and really you just need to divorce yourself from this consumerism and the fact that it's got to be bigger and better than everybody else yeah. if you want to preserve your mental health and your financial status through this time of year 100% yeah. I like yeah. what you said there if you don't have it you don't have it Baba but also but that that is a that's a good rule of thumb just full stop yeah. if yeah. you don't have the don't, physical means to do something Move don't yeah. do it because to your point and that's that's important that one day for context that one day yes you have the celebration yes you have this moment yes everyone's excited everyone gets a bicycle you get a bicycle you get a bicycle whatever but if you are not paying that off until next Christmas you're digging Bro. yourself a hole Bro. that you're not going to be able to Bro. get out of and that's an important note I think especially for the parents Yeah, mm-hmm. don't overdo it because you know you want to be the rich auntie mm. but if you are not the rich auntie you can just be the cool auntie yeah. just exactly. be the cool auntie be present exactly. and uh, your presence uh, can be felt in different ways. Your just, presence just is the one hundred percent. The last question we want to ask you is: the festive season is not so festive for everybody. Uh, a lot of people uh, struggle with mental health and loneliness uh, during the festive season. What advice uh, do you have in terms of just being able to support people struggling with mental health and loneliness during the festive season? So probably the one of the best things you can do for your mental health and especially if you are going to be alone over over the festive season is give back Hmm. so go help with a charity or an organization um, help prepare meals for others that is an 
incredible way to work through your own your own issues and not get bogged down by them yeah. by actually sharing what you can share with others you know and I think just a special note here for moms because they put themselves under such incredible stress and pressure to have the perfect Christmas day and mm. they're up mm. early and then they're mm. cooking and then they're cleaning and then get the whole family involved let everybody delegate give tasks the kids must set the table the husbands must wash the dishes everyone needs to get involved as a way of alleviating all of that pressure and that stress shout out man shout out thank you so much for your insights on uh, you know how to handle the festive season from a mental health perspective it's been amazing to have you on the show for all the series or the four part series that we were doing around men's mental health in November uh, we hope that a lot of gents out there are listening and heed what you've been able to offer thank you so much thank you Michael we appreciate you Absolutely. we appreciate you Stacey and Chase Boo weekdays 3 to 6 p.m. East Coast Radio